Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode in my Microsoft Cloud VDI series. So we finished off the uh, the Microsoft DevVox series, uh, our topic, sorry, within this series. Um, so as I think I mentioned right at the start, we've got three three solutions we're going to look at in Cloud, Microsoft Cloud VDI, Microsoft DevVox, which we've already completed now, Windows 365, which is what we're starting today, and ABD, which we're going to finish off with, finish off with my favourite. Um, so yeah, we, we finished off that, we had a couple of days gap, and now we're going to get into um, a similar sort of, you know, talk about what it is, what you can do with it, some use cases, the different uh, types, because there's different types of it as well. And we're going to do demos all the way through. Um, so without further ado, let's get started with this episode. So this is a Microsoft uh, Cloud VDI series, um, and we are starting the, Max, uh, the Windows 365 overview. So today, a bit of a quick episode, just a bit of theory to start with, um, and we'll start the demos as of the next episode. You know, what is Windows 365 and what is Cloud PC? Um, so let's talk a little bit about what is Windows 365. So uh, it's a cloud-based service that automatically uh, creates a new type of Windows virtual machine, or known as a cloud PC. Uh, and this is for your end users. Okay, Each cloud PC is assigned to an individual, so it's that one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, and there's, there's basically their dedicated Windows device. And Windows 365 is going to provide a good, you know, something for, for productivity, productivity. It's going to give you security. It's going to allow you to collaborate um, and give you all those sort of benefits, um, all those benefits of you know Microsoft 365, and it's available in multiple different different editions as well. We're going to go through those throughout this throughout this uh, part of the series for this topic. You've got Windows 365 Business first of all, so this is made specifically for use in smaller companies. Let's say up to 300 seats is what Microsoft normally say. Uh, and this is who they want you know ready to use cloud PCs with very very simple management. Okay. Then we have Windows 365 Enterprise. So it's a larger companies, 300 plus users who want you know unlimited sort of seats uh, for creating cloud PCs. And it includes options to create custom cloud PCs based on device images that you can have yourself. Uh, more management options and sort of full integration with Microsoft Intune, which is, is quite important. And we're going to be looking at that as well throughout this, this part of the series. You've also got Windows 365 Government. Uh, so this is a service that's going to span um, across sort of a regulated US government. Uh, community cloud, which is a GCC, and obviously a, a public facing cloud as well. And finally, so this is the fourth type, we've got Windows 365 Frontline. It's going to help organizations save costs by providing a single license to provision up to three cloud PCs for, for non-concurrent users and non-concurrent use. Uh, and uh, they're meant to be, you know, for cases where users need a cloud PC access for sort of a limited time per day. So it might be shift patterns or shifts or, you know, something like that would be a warehouse or a factory floor or something like that. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what is cloud PC now. Um, you know, a cloud PC is a highly available, optimized and scalable virtual machine providing, uh, you know, providing end users with sort of a rich Windows desktop experience. It's hosted in Windows in the Windows 365 service and is accessible basically from anywhere on any device. Uh, end users have that one-to-one -one relationship with uh, with their cloud PC, as I mentioned in the last slide. And it's their own, so your own personal PC in the cloud. It's like having a laptop or a desktop at home, but it's stored in the cloud. And users can connect to this by 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 going to or by using Windows365.microsoft.com, a bit like we have Azure.portal.com, you know, for Azure access. This is Windows365.microsoft.com. Uh, and you also have a browser and app based access as well that's available for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android devices. We're going to be showing, we'll be, we'll be using and showing both within the demos uh, later on in this sort of um, part of the series. Uh, let's talk a little bit about we're creating that cloud PC. So cloud PCs are created automatically with the Windows 365 service when end users are uh, user in an appropriate ENTRE group, so they need to be in the specific security group. Um, they are assigned a Windows 365 license. Um, admins do not manually create the PCs, okay? So it's an automated service. Uh, let's talk a bit about licenses. So we're gonna, in, in the next episode, we're going to do a demo around that. We're not going to do that here. Uh, so from a licensing perspective, before a user can gain access to Cloud PC, you must purchase that Windows 365 license. And customers can purchase Windows 365 as a separate license per user for a fixed monthly fee. So it's that subscription base. And it gives them access to that cloud PC. Additionally, costs may apply based on network usage as well. 
And after the licenses are purchased, you can create your provisioning policies uh, to automatically create cloud PCs for users, and we're going to be doing some of that as well. And from a billing perspective, uh, the cloud PC is billed per user per month cost model. Uh, a bit like a Microsoft 365 subscription, basically. So this model means your organization doesn't have to manage that variability of compute and sort of storage costs as they would with Microsoft DevBox or Azure Virtual Desktop. Uh, so that that's it for a quick intro basically to Windows 365, what it is, what's Cloud PC. Obviously, the terms we're going to be we're going to be using um, throughout this uh, throughout this this part of the series on you know, this Windows 365 bit. We are going to start demos in the next episode. We're going to basically go through that licensing subscription sort of exercise um, and show you all the different variants as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some useful links in the description, my socials, and obviously some, some links to some Windows 365 content uh, from Microsoft Learn. Um, so hopefully, um, again, you're going to get a lot out of this. Drop me a comment, drop me a like, you know, drop, you know connect with me on, on socials, and let me know how you're finding the series. Um, I just dropped the, the video on LinkedIn around the 20k subscriber um, giveaway that we did, so those, those 10 people will be getting their t-shirts. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.